Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and if you are looking to create an RPG right now might be a perfect opportunity for you because of a collection of assets that are available right now. Now the big one we are talking about today is something called URPG and if you are ready to this channel you may have noticed we have uh, the Lunar New Year Mega Bundle going on. I covered this uh, about a week and a half ago when it started and as you can see as of the time of this video there's about 10 days remaining in this. It's a collection of Unity assets directly from Unity and to be honest this bundle wasn't really that overwhelming. When it came down to it, what you guys were most interested in, Shader Weaver had some interest, BioYK had some interest, but the one that majority of people asked for me to cover was URPG, a single player RPG toolkit, and that is exactly what we are going to do today. But by the way, while you are at it, especially if you just watched my Unreal Engine Medieval Environment Kit from Quixel video, you may know about the Learn to Create Games in Unity Humble Bundle. I covered this on the channel as well. I also did a review of GameDev.TV's training materials, which by the way are exceptional. But if you are interested in picking up an RPG, just do be aware, you have one day left. But if you want to create RPGs in Unity, if you go to the top tier of this course, in addition to having, you know, Unity courses for 2D and 3D, you're also getting three that are very specific to RPG game development. So you've got the Core Combat Creator, Dialogues and Quests, and Inventory Systems Creator. So if you want to learn how to create RPGs, all of the pieces you need are here and potentially here. So the asset we're looking at today is normally 80 bucks. You can get it in for 30 bucks plus all the other stuff that's included there. So it's kind of a no-brainer if what you see appeals to you. Uh, but now let's just go ahead. We'll take a look hands-on. We'll come back and look at some of the details in just a second. So here we go. This is the asset running inside of Unity. It is not a looker. This is not meant to really be uh, that great to look at. What you've got here, you got things here like the spawn point. This is where uh, your character will come out into the world. Then we come up here. We've got some various inventory items to pick up, such as an axe, a halberd or a falchion. Halberd, I think. A uh, sword. And then we got a crossbow and, oddly enough, arrows instead of bolts. But... So that's kind of the world we were in. If we look around a little bit more, we have uh, an NPC that I just flew by. So right here, it's not really about the world or the stuff you're visually seeing right now. It's about the systems that are behind it. So for example, here, this character, um, I think this is Diego here. You know, notice Diego is made up of a number of different pieces. In this case, he's got NPC dialogue script and NPC trading scripts attached. Those are the kind of things that you're going to pull out of this. All the various different systems that are in place to do things like handle dialogues, inventory, uh, to handle uh, aggro. So this guy, see how he's got this uh, sphere around him? Well, that is his aggro zone. And this here is an enemy monster. We'll see that in action when I go ahead and play it. So that is kind of the world environment that, that you get. Basically, just go into the scenes, open up the world to get this one. And now let's go ahead and run it. Now, it is not, again, going to look particularly great. The animations are a little clunky. The UI is minimalistic and so on. But all the core systems you're going to need are here. So let's make the Brave Hero ASDF and create it. All right, so here we are in the world. A third-person view, once again. We can walk down here. We can pick up a skull stick. Sure. So you can notice you have your standard interactions. So let's pick up an axe, the halberd, the sword. Uh, we got some arrows here. Pick all those up. And we got a crossbow. So now we want to go ahead and manage our inventory. I can hit tab. Unfortunately, when I zoomed everything else, this isn't zooming with it. So this is going to be a little hard for you to see. But you see you've got a standard inventory system here. You've got hotkeys available down here so we can... Um, so if I want to, for example, I can learn a new spell. Like, oh, I haven't got experience yet. I have to get some experience and I can learn the spell. But then we can bring things down. So let's go ahead and uh, uh, sort. All right, so we got the sword attached to this guy. And okay, so I'm going to get rid of our inventory. And then now we are back in the world. I can hold shift to run. So all the stuff you need for your character controllers are here as well. There's stuff there for swimming. It's a little farcical when you see it. But all right, so we'll go over here. We'll talk to this guy. You see here, you got dialogue systems here. So let's say I'm going to do a find a banana quest. Uh, okay, I got that. I think I actually already have a banana. Uh, anyways, so you get, oh, that, complete. There you go. So you can see how uh, that works. You've got experience going at the very bottom of the screen. Now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to aggro our monster of choice. So attack animations are, yeah, they're that. So let's see if I actually even survived this. So I get close to him. He's mad. And then let's... There, so I'm swim attacking. Die. All right, there you go. So he just died as an example. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead, hit tab again. I've leveled up, so now I can go ahead and learn. I thought I learned. Oh, man, I didn't learn this one. Anyways, if you grab this guy, you learn it. You can drag this down to your hot bar down here, and you've got quick access bars. So there is 
a fireball spell. Again, the actual implementation of things is kind of cheese. What you're in here for is the actual underlying systems that were created. So for example, if I come back here to the world itself and we'll take a look at some of the prefabs. So we got prefabs here, entities. Uh, oh, there's a horse, by the way, and you can go over and you can mount on the horse. Or there is our monster, so let me just load up the monster. So you can see here, that monster that we were looking at earlier on is available as a prefab. You can see this is where the heart of URPG comes in. It's basically these scripts. So you've got a health script available here that's, you know, dealing with how the monster does things, including a of callbacks or on death on respawn on death and so on. Uh, we got a combat script hooked up to it that you can hook various different entities into. We have on death respawning scripts, drop random item on death scripts, experience reward, skill reward, monster script, uh, and so on. So all these various different scripts are pretty much what you are here for. You can go in and check out the prefabs to see how these things work. So for example, here's your arrow uh, or the fireball. Uh, right there, and then you could go ahead and uh, see the various different scripts that go. So this one got a particle or a projectile script attached to it, for example. So you can see how to use that to create other projectiles for your game. So if you wanted to make it so your crossbow had bolts instead of arrows, uh, you could go ahead and do it that way. So the key things are going to be, if you come here to URPG, it's in this category right here, the script. So you're going to see here you've got a number of different scripts built in here, uh, player attributes, character stuff, scriptable uh, things in the world, so on. These are all the pieces that go together. So if you need NPC training, you know, you add it to your entity in the world. Uh, so I want to make this guy have, uh, where would they go, NPC trading. So if that was a trading NPC, I drop it in and work it like so. The code is designed to be uh, read first as opposed to performance. So this is a teaching project. So if you need to learn how to use any of these particular things, you can. But essentially what you are buying when you buy this pack is really this. These are the core systems. These are the key things here. You know, a bunch of the, there's a bunch of other things that are made out of them, uh, but those things are ultimately, the, this This is the guts. The, this is the logic here. These various different scripts that go together uh, to show you, like how here's how you handle inventory, here's how you handle combat, and so on. So, so that's kind of the, the key part of this particular project. If you head on back here to the root, you will find there is documentation available. Uh, it is a PDF. There is online support there. Uh, so it kind of breaks down all the various different categories and how they work together, uh, which is pretty cool. So that is a quick look at URPG. Again, you're not getting Skyrim level quality here. Uh, the, the animations don't look great, but that's not really the purpose of it. This is to show you all the various different systems you need to go together to create an RPG style game. So if we head on back over here, um, you will see, oh, and by the way, so again, if you're into RPGs, this one right here with the one day remaining, it's going to cover the process that went into creating a lot of these things too. You're going to get some overlap, but you're also going to get two learning sources instead of just one. Uh, and one of them is, you know, turnkey ready to play game. But if you check out my review on gamedev.tv, you can actually see uh, these guys they provide quite a bit of the same stuff. And in all honesty, if I had to pick one of the two assets to go with, I would take this course. But this is also a good add-on. Normally this is 80 bucks. You're seeing right here, it's available at the $30 tier. A breakdown of what the actual features are so you've got things here like uh, uses the new new UI system. You've got monsters, NPCs, run, crouch, crawl, character controller stuff. You've got mounts in the game, falling damage levels, uh, strength in int attributes. So there's modeling how you create various different other attributes. Uh, scriptable skills and buffs, harvesting, crafting, item storage, melee and ranged weapons, weapon zooming, scriptable items, item drops, gold, scriptable quests, uh, great blood splatter fix, free look camera, retargetable animations, and so on. So basically, it's giving you the template of an RPG. Uh, they do have their own uh, Discord forum. Uh, here you can also see a bit of a structure in terms of the... Um, the number of releases that have happened with this guy. And from what I can see here, the release history, so it goes back to 2018 with V0. Well, we've had a pretty steady flow of releases going on uh, right up till right before, so right when this went live, uh, there was a new patch. The V125 release uh, was done on the 5th So of, oh, 2021. Sorry, I thought there was a brand new release right before this one live. So that was the last update you've got there. Uh, but as you see, it got pretty steady updates across its life. It hasn't been abandoned by any means. And since this isn't really graphical in nature, other than perhaps some of the particle effects, you, you could use this guy no problem in the ERP or the HDRP or the standard 3D pipeline because it's more about the scaffolding stuff, the, the behind the scenes things that you need to create an RPG more so than, you know, 
front end graphical, pretty looking stuff. So that is URPG, currently available as part of the, uh, what is this actually called? Lunar New Year Mega Bundle, which has 10 days remaining. And again, if you are using Unity and you're interested in picking up an RPG uh, course, this one is exceptional and expiring very, very, very soon. So I will have links to both uh, the uh, New Year's sale and the Humble deal. Uh, let me know what you think of URPG. Apparently, they also make a massively multiplayer version of it as well. I've got no experience with it, so I can't really give you a suggestion. But if you've had hands-on time with any of these things, with the course, with the URPG kit, or anything else, let me know what you think. Or is there another resource for creating RPGs in Unity that you would recommend? Let me know what you think in the comments down below, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.